Welcome to The Good Ride, I'm James Beastie, and this is the High Sierra Pro Pant, and it's something that matches up with the Peak Bagger jacket pretty well, and it is just like the High Sierra Pant, except it has more durability in the high wear areas. Other than that, it's very similar, and in terms of fit, this is a large, I'm liking the baggy fit, but I would definitely go medium because as you can see from my specs here, I'm always in a size medium pant and those fit me the best, especially with my 32 to 33 size waist, my specs, my inseam, and all that jazz. So when it comes to construction, you have a very stretchy pant in the gray areas. Any area that has black is a little less stretchy. The black is 20K waterproofing, 20K breathability, and then the rest of the pant is 40K breathability. So these are the areas where you need to breathe most, especially your crotch. That's one of the most hottest places in your body and your pits and your head. That's where most of your heat comes out. So it's nice to have breathability there. And when it comes to pockets, you have two pockets right here and you can see what they fit by the seams for the construction there. And it's just a nice material inside that doesn't feel too warm or too cold. It's not abrasive on the hands, so it's easy in and out of the pocket. And there's kind of a angled zip, so it's pretty cool. Let me see here. It's kind of confusing because you grab the leg vent here, sometimes thinking it's your pocket vent because they're so close to each other. But it's a good angle, so it doesn't go straight down so stuff slides out, but it's not straight vertical either, and I like that. Now, when it comes to the cuffs, you just have one simple elastic thing going on here. You don't have a gaiter. And I thought this would be weird looking at the picture, but putting this on over my boots, no problem. Like it. I didn't think I would, and I actually really like it. Now, when it comes to venting, unlike the High Sierra pant, you have two vents on each side. And even though this has a lot of breathability in most areas of the pant, it's still nice to have vents. I can't live without vents. Now, when it comes to buttons, you have two buttons right here, and I like the redundancy. I think that's a good thing to have, but you also have a tie here. So that's why there's no belt loops. So you've got triple redundancy. So even if you're making a hard turn or you have an awkward air <laughs> and you pop your buttons, you're not just gonna, your pants aren't gonna come down around your ankles as you're riding. So I like that. Now, when it comes to the liner, it's got a nice material inside. I would say the High Sierra felt a little better. I'm not sure why. Oh, I know why now. If it's behind the more stretchy material, this feels better. If it's behind this, this more durable material, it doesn't feel quite as comfortable, but it's still very comfortable. And I think most people will be wearing a first layer underneath. You should, it protects the waterproofing and it just keeps your, your pant lasting longer. So not really a big deal, but overall I love the liner. Overall, I think this is a really cool pant. I actually like it better than the High Sierra pant just because of that extra durability and the vents. So still, it's all personal preference. Go with what you want. More stretch or more durability in an extra vent.